AMD's first generation Ryzen Threadripper CPUs redefined the multi-threaded bang for the buck available from the high-end desktop just over a year ago. Now AMD is back with its second generation of Ryzen Threadripper CPUs and they seem poised to shred the status quo once again. The top-end Ryzen Threadripper part launching today, the 2990WX, and that's WX for workstations, puts 32 cores and 64 threads in today's X399 motherboards. It has a 4.2 GHz peak single core clock speed, a 3 GHz base clock speed, and a 250 watt TDP, and best of all, it'll list for $1799 US, or 200 less than Intel's Core i9-7980XE with its 18 cores and 36 threads. That could give the AMD part a big leg up in certain multi-threaded workloads. The 2990WX and all second generation Threadrippers incorporate the second generation Ryzen improvements we already know and love from the AM4 parts like the Ryzen 7 2700X, including Precision Boost 2's finer granularity over multi-threaded clock speed control, XFR 2's better sustained performance under aftermarket coolers, and the overall better performance offered by Global Foundry's 12LP process. While the Ryzen Threadripper WX series is targeted at content creation pros who need every core and thread they can get from a system, the Ryzen Threadripper X series will continue on as the chip for users with more blended workloads like content creation and gaming. The Threadripper 2950X refreshes the popular 1950X with a 4.4 GHz single core clock speed, the highest of any Ryzen part so far, and a 3.5 GHz base clock. It'll have a 180 watt TDP, and it'll also shave 100 bucks off the 1950X's suggested price tag at $899. Now, you may have noticed a couple parts on the last couple slides that I didn't mention, and that's because they're not actually launching today. The Ryzen Threadripper 2970WX will have 24 cores and 48 threads for $1299, and the Threadripper 2920X will have 12 cores and 24 threads for $649, but those parts won't launch until October. AMD says its highest core and thread count Threadrippers are its best selling, and so it won into lead with the 2990WX and 2950X. The 2990WX is available for pre-order today, and it'll begin appearing on store shelves August 13th, while the 2950X will be available August 31st. So you may have noticed that second generation Ryzen Threadripper parts come with a spiffy new box design, so let's dig into it. The paper tab on this box is now captive so that the whole thing doesn't fall apart and a plastic switch on the top panel releases the front panel, which you can fold down to get at the encapsulated processor inside. Pull out that capsule, um, give the clip on the left side a tug, and voila, you're in. There's the chip. The second generation Ryzen Threadripper package itself is no different from the first generation because the chips have to go into the same motherboards and use the same infrastructure. The second generation Ryzen Threadripper accessory kit is also a little changed from the first gen. You get a big Ryzen Threadripper case sticker or whatever sticker. Um, there's an advisory card in the box to let you know that you can update your X399 motherboard's BIOS without a chip, which is important since AMD will not send you a boot kit. There's an Acetec liquid cooler ring for use with those ubiquitous all-in-one liquid coolers. And of course, there's a Threadripper torque wrench so that you can actually install your CPU in your X399 motherboard. When you're done with the box, AMD has embossed a little Ryzen Threadripper logo on the back of the plastic capsule so you can put it all back together and display it on your part shelf or whatever. So there you go, we've now unboxed a second generation Ryzen Threadripper CPU. Um, the new packaging design is 100% befitting of chips this expensive and it'll look really nice on your part shelf if you choose to display it there. So kudos to AMD for a job well done on this front. Along with the Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX and 2950X, AMD sent over a couple motherboards to help us test them. 
First and foremost among these is MSI's X399 MEG creation, which has been making waves since Computex thanks to its aggressive design and aggressive layout. This board has three M.2 slots on board under a massive M.2 Frozer heatsink system, a full complement of PCIe by 16 slots, a fully loaded back panel with 10 USB 3.0 ports. Yeah, that's right. For some reason, USB 3.1 Gen 2 isn't present here. Uh, USB BIOS flashback, clear CMOS, dual gigabit ethernet ports, and built-in Wi-Fi. Good power delivery is going to be important for Threadripper WX series CPUs, and the MEG Creation stands ready with dual EPS connectors, plus a 16-phase VRM for the CPU itself, with three more phases for the SoC. All of those power phases lie under a massive VRM heatsink connected by a single heat pipe, so they should run cool under load, too. For the truly storage bandwidth hungry, MSI includes one of its M.2 Aero Expander cards with the MEG creation. This thing may look like a graphics card, but don't be fooled, it has four M.2 slots under an active cooler, all with their own power supply, so that builders can raid together NVMe SSDs for maximum performance. ASUS's ROG Zenith Extreme is a familiar face for high-end X399 builders, and ASUS is fortifying it for second-generation Threadripper with a couple small changes. Those come courtesy of the Zenith Extreme cooling kit, which adds a 40mm fan and bracket over the motherboard's primary VRM heatsink for extra cooling power, in addition to the active fan that's already under the Zenith Extreme's IO shield. The kit also includes a small heatsink that sits on the three SoC phases beneath the CPU socket. It adds an extra touch of style to the board as well. The Zenith Extreme's back panel boasts BIOS flashback and clear CMOS buttons, 802.11 AD compatible Wi-Fi, 8 USB 3.0 ports, Gigabit Ethernet, USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A and Type-C ports, and the Supreme FX array of LED backlit audio jacks. The Zenith Extreme caps things off with an Aquantia powered 10 gigabit Ethernet NIC that can plug into any PCIe by 4 slot. To help keep our second generation Ryzen Threadrippers cool, AMD sent over one of its Wraith Ripper coolers produced in collaboration with Cooler Master. This tower gets its power from a massive fin stack run through with 14 heat pipes from a full coverage base plate. The screws on top control the screws on bottom too, so installing this thing should be a snap. I'm a fan of liquid coolers myself, so I was happy to find Intermax's Liquitech TR4 240mm cooler in our review kit. This all-in-one is a cut above the average liquid cooler with a heavy metal pump head, a double thickness 240mm radiator, and pre-installed rubber dampening strips on its fan mounts that could lead to potentially quieter operation. The Liquitech TR4 has a full coverage cold plate that, as its name implies, covers every square millimeter of the Ryzen Threadripper integrated heat spreader for maximum cooling potential. Don't think one of these is mandatory for cooling even your second generation Threadripper though, as AMD says the circular cold plate on Azatec coolers will serve just fine still. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please be sure to subscribe to the Tech Reports channel for more PC hardware content in the future. Stay tuned to techreport.com for our full second generation Ryzen Threadripper review with productivity and gaming performance numbers in the near future. Until next time, I'm Jeff Campman for the Tech Report. Thanks for watching.